Hey guys, today we are back at Level 8 Labs with part two of our laser cutting video. We have acquired a much more powerful laser system that is about 20 times more powerful than the first laser that we had. And we are going to see if we can cut diamond as well as our iPod from our acid video, which is still holding on by a thread. And we've decided to just put it out of its misery. All I have to do is plug in the power and it is pretty much plug and play after that. The plug in question. Yeah, let me just throw a plug on that. We've got the plug all installed correctly, hopefully. And now I've just rewired the transformer because I originally had it on a different transformer running some other equipment. But now we should be able to get the power to this and we'll test to see if it powers on. Three, two, one. Hey, welcome. We've got our PPE installed. My little sumo suit is radiation resistant for this laser wavelength. I've got some safety glasses that are also rated for this laser wavelength. And I've got a little makeshift welding helmet that I've plastered some aluminum tape that is not really effective, but more for, uh, it makes me feel better. We're gonna test it out. All right, I'm gonna shoot this cardboard first just to make sure that it actually does something. And if we see smoke, then it's doing its job. Shoot, I don't remember the password to this thing. Are you videoing that? Yeah, I had to. Just melted my shoe. Oof. All right, guys, the iPod's up first. Any last words? I don't want to die. All right, iPod. <laughs> iPod holder did not hold up to the heat, so we're going to have to find a better way to mount it that way we can uh, avoid that happening but we'll uh, mount that quick and then try it again this is the remains of the ipod that cut right through that we have found some more stuff to uh light on fire. We've got a iMac here and we've got a few other experiments that we're going to show you before we get to the diamond. Landon has done an excellent job working his way right down here, down the middle. The iMac has seemed to be a bit more resilient than we thought, so we are going to step two, and take a pickaxe to it. We'll see what happens. Balloon test. Will the laser make it through all of the balloons? Let's find out. So you just saw us completely destroy that line of balloons. And before we get into cutting the diamond, 
Uh, if you haven't done so already, like, subscribe so we can keep doing what we're doing. And with that, let's get to cutting the diamond. The diamond in question. One carat CBD lab grown. Are you scared? You better be. Three, two, one. Okay, we ate through the concrete, so we decided to set it on aluminum, which is a little bit more reflective for this la laser wavelength, and we're hoping to uh, actually see the direct effect of this laser on the diamond only. Did it just explode? It totally just exploded. As promised from our first video, we were able to completely explode these diamonds, which I was not personally expecting. But as you can see by the shards, this laser was able to impose an incredible amount of heat and force that was able to explode them, which was incredible to watch in real time. Um, but yeah, that marks the end of this video. Uh, please check out our channel, and we'll see you in the next one.